hey you guys, here are your quick fire questions for Bioenergetics for AQA Biology. Remember if you want to get a hard copy of these questions so you don't miss any of them, you can get that in the free version guide which is over on my website. What is the word equation for photosynthesis? This comes up a lot so it's really important that you know it. Carbon dioxide plus water turns into oxygen plus glucose and we can put light up here above the arrow. It is really important it is above the arrow that you don't try and add it in on this side or this side of the equation. It goes up there. What is the chemical symbol for carbon dioxide? CO2, little 2. That is the wrong answer. That is the wrong answer. You have to have your numbers the right size and in the right place. What is the chemical symbol for water? H2O. Oxygen gas, O2. And glucose, C6H12O6. The chemical equation for photosynthesis, carbon dioxide, plus water turns into oxygen plus glucose. Now we need to balance this but this one's quite a nice easy one to remember. It is 6, 6, 6. How is energy transferred in photosynthesis? They take the energy that was in carbon dioxide and they store it in glucose. What factors might affect photosynthesis? How much light there is? The temperature? And the concentration? Of carbon dioxide. How does temperature affect photosynthesis? It is too cold, nothing will happen. If it's too hot, then all the enzymes will get denatured. How does light intensity affect photosynthesis? If there's not enough, then nothing is going to happen. How does carbon dioxide concentration affect photosynthesis? Again, if there's not enough, nothing is going to happen. Three graphs here to sketch, and these are just the bits for the higher tier only. Sketch graphs show how light intensity affects photosynthesis. So when we have no light, we have no photosynthesis. As the light intensity increases, the rate of photosynthesis will also increase, but this will only go up to a point. It will just not keep increasing and increasing and increasing. How temperature affects photosynthesis? As the temperature slowly increases, we're going to get an increase in the rate of photosynthesis until we get to an optimal temperature, and then it is going to come down as the proteins get denatured. Sketch graphs show how carbon dioxide concentration affects photosynthesis. Very similar to light intensity. When we have no carbon dioxide, we have no rate of photosynthesis. This increases, um, the rate of photosynthesis increases as the carbon dioxide increases, but only up to a point. There are going to be limited factors in play, which means increasing the rate of con concentration of carbon dioxide will not increase the rate of photosynthesis after a point. Is respiration exothermic or endothermic? It is exothermic. The word equation for respiration, glucose plus oxygen turns into 
carbon dioxide and water, which is the same but the opposite way around to photosynthesis. So a simple equation of respiration, glucose, C6, H12O6, plus oxygen, turns into carbon dioxide, plus water, again we need to balance it, 6, 6, 6, it's quite a nice easy one to remember. What is anaerobic respiration? That is respiration without oxygen. The equation for this is glucose turns into energy and lactic acid. Anaerobic respiration in yeast cells is fermentation. The products are going to be carbon dioxide and ethanol. Um, as a product, carbon dioxide is used to make bread rise and ethanol is used to make alcoholic drinks. What is oxygen debt? Lactic acids is one of the products of anaerobic respiration. You need to breathe um, lots after you've finished um, exercising to get lots of oxygen around your body to remove the carbon dioxide and lactic acid that's built up. Metabolism is the chemical reactions that happen in your body and keeps you alive. Sugars provide you with energy. Amino acids build up proteins. Together, fatty acids and glycerol make fat. Carbohydrates store energy. Proteins do basically everything inside your body. They are enzymes, they perform all the functions in the cells, um, they do a lot of things. Lipids do a lot of things as well. They are important in hormones. Provide energy and help you absorb food. Glucose can be converted to energy. Lipids is just another word for fats and they are formed from fatty acids and glycerol. Proteins are formed from amino acids. And amino acids are formed from bases. Proteins are broken down into amino acids. 